So we work on our faith, this kind of faith that can move mountains, that can heal, and we do it one day at a time, one thought at a time. We learn to live the affirmative life, what we teach you here every week in all of our different classes and processes is that there is that which is within you that knows everything and knows what you need and has access to everything you could possibly desire. Here's the big question. Do I really love myself with my whole heart? And you can only answer that. Do I really love myself with my own heart? my whole heart. The fact that you're here is miraculous. The fact that you're in the, in the discussion is great because it would suggest that you're ready to take a look and you're ready to begin to embrace greater ideas and let go of the lesser states of consciousness that have been holding you back. Louise wrote Louise. years ago, self-acceptance and self-approval in the now are the keys to all positive changes. On some deep level, like they are already failures. They look at their lives at 40, 50, 60, or 70, and they look at where they've messed up and the string of relationships and the pain, and they have more of a belief that they're going to fail than that they're going to fly and succeed. To turn it around for you to see that you have everything that you need, you've had it since the time you came into the world, we know again that self-acceptance and self-approval are the keys to all positive changes. There's absolutely nothing wrong with asking people what they think on any subject that you might think of. And I'd only suggest be sure to ask of a variety of opinions, not just, just, just from one group. You will be deriving the benefits of different perspectives for you to ponder. Life is full of people with differing opinions and this rich, diversified thought is all wonderful. You have an incredible mind and facility to distill information because you are an individualization of spirit itself. You have the capability within you to evaluate everything so you can come up with answers that are your own, unique to you, each of you being individualizations of this one source. The challenge is to learn to love yourself and it's to trust yourself to come up with your own answers and become an independent thinker. As I say often, there is that which is within you that knows. And tell yourself, I know and I know that I know.